1988, I had a life-changing experience. I was a freelance photographer living in New York, and I was assigned by Esquire magazine to photograph the investor Warren Buffett. Buffett was relatively unknown at the time, and I had no idea who he was, but uh, I wanted to make a good photograph of him so I could get future assignments from the magazine. I traveled to Omaha in March of 88 and had about an hour to make his portrait. I tried a number in his office, they didn't work out, and convinced Buffett, who was reluctant to go up to his roof, where I made a picture that was published two pages in Esquire. But more, before I left Buffett that day, he gave me a stack of his annual reports. On the plane ride back to New York, I read an annual report for the first time, and Buffett's down-to-earth, commonsensical writing struck a chord. A light bulb went off, and I became intrigued with investing and with Warren Buffett and how to find values in the stock market. I bought a share of Berkshire Hathaway. I started going to an annual meetings. And there I met Hendrick Lever. Hendrick came up with the idea that it was important to make a photographic document of the great minds of investing. That would be Buffett, Munger, and many of the disciples in that school of investing. That began a five-year project. Uh, that has culminated in a coffee table book called The Great Minds of Investing. The pictures were, are, include 33 different and distinct minds of investing. They were done in Texas, New York, Omaha, Frankfurt, and Paris. Took five years to do. And, uh, and I think we have succeeded in Hendrick's original intention that is to preserve photographically and create a, a representative and distinct portrait of each of these great minds of investing. One of my favorite and most memorable is one made of Irving Kahn, who was 107 years old when I photographed him on a snowy day in New York City. Um, he was feeble, but he had managed to get to the office with an attendant and his grandson stood in front of him and kept him active and focused into the camera. And we made one of, probably one of the last great pictures of Irving Kahn before he passed away a year later. And Irving Kahn, Marty Whitman, um, Isabel Levy, and, and many, many more from all, you know, all ages, but mainly 70s, 80s, and 90s are featured in the book. I think it's important that we accomplish what we set out to do, and that is to create a historical collection of the great minds of investing. Writers have their photographers, musicians have their photographers, uh, artists have their photographers, but they're absent in the field of investing. And what we set out to do to document and create a photographic record. I think we've succeeded in doing, and it's resulted in a very beautiful coffee table book called The Great Minds of Investing, which I hope you enjoy.